Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to run Google Colab inside VS Code. First open VS Code and make sure you update your VS Code. Click on triple dot, click on help, then scroll down and click on about. Make sure you updated your VS Code, then click on extension tab and search here Colab. C O L A B and you will see this Colab extension Colab from Google. Click on install. While you install the extension, make sure it's the official one. Otherwise, you may install some malicious extension that will steal your credential. Be careful. So we successfully installed the Google Colab extension then click on new file just create a jupyter notebook paste dot ipynb ipynb stand for jupyter notebook extension you need to click on select kernel then from here click on colab then uh, there is three option auto connect one click connect mostly recent created server or new one what it's mean like you were working on a project here and uh, suddenly you closed the vs code for some reason you will click on this auto connect option so it will use the last created server or if you just click on auto connect it will start a new cpu server for our case we will select new colab server and then you will get an option sign in click on allow and select a browser from here then choose your gmail account click on continue then give the permission read write and delete of your colab resources click on allow and then click on open vs studio and vs code and click on open so you are giving the permission open then you need to select cpu gpu or tpu for my case i will use gpu because we want to use t4 gpu for free click on gpu and because we are free user we are getting only t4 click on t4 then you need to give this session name so i will give t4 test click on and hit enter in detecting the kernel so it will take some time just wait now you will get an option python 3 julia r because you know you can run this three language on google colab for our case we will select python 3 then click on code and now i'm going to check if we get the t4 gpu or not click just type nvidia dash smi and hit enter it will uh, connect with the python 3 ipy kernel just wait for a second it will give the output okay i did a spelling mistake in video and here we got the tesla t4 gpu and we can do all the python code which we can do in Google Colab, same print hello world, hello world. It's working. Then we need to learn two more things how to stop this server. If you go to their official GitHub page, they already told you how you can close the session. It's very easy, just you need to select Ctrl Shift P. Then you need to search Colab, then remove server. I will select Ctrl Shift P and search Colab, and you will see this option Colab remove server. Click on this, it will disconnect the server. But before it, you need to select the server T4 test. And now if I want to run Python hello world, it will ask me to create a new server. So I will click on Colab. 
then i need i need to select like auto connect i can just click on auto connect or uh, new server so i will choose again new collab server for this time just uh, i will choose cpu you know just try and uh, again it will ask me which language do you want to use so i will use python 3 and if i run something again hello youtube hello yt and click on run now it's working and the uh, second is how you can sign out and log in with different account it's very simple it just need to type ctrl shift p this command the same command ctrl shift p and uh, ctrl shift p and you will search account acc o u n t s and you will see a option manage accounts click on this and you will see your account name then click on here and click on sign out and click on sign out and if you want to try to use it it will not work so let me just show you click on uh, collab and click on new collab server and it will ask you to sign it again so click on allow and same story now you can choose a different account click on continue and you are good to go and click on open and if you click on collab and new collab server t4 paste hit enter python 3 ah uh, it's working so when you see your jupyter notebook is not working just close the tab and open the vs code again and click on auto connect this one python 3 select kernel collab then this auto connect so it will work and bye guys